guys, what's up? And welcome to another week of Manchester Marathon Training and London Marathon Training. Woohoo! Just been out and done. Just done that 9k through the trails. Go check out my uh, shoes, look. I'm glad I wore old ones today. Woo! Right, I'm gonna get sorted out. And then this week we're gonna be talking about uh, training plans, my training plans, all that kind of stuff. Um, thanks very much to everybody who gave me a sort of uh, questions, things to cover over this series. Uh, if you're new to this series, we're gonna be covering everything during my uh, marathon training as I go for a sub four hour marathon in Manchester and then do a double uh, marathon in the spring because I'll be doing obviously London back to back and everything that goes into there. But if you've got some questions or you've got some stuff you want me to cover during this uh, training series, again, stick them in the comments and I'll try and get some uh, and put them into this uh, series as we go through. Right, I'm gonna get sorted out. Here's how Freddie got on. Now, if you don't know who Freddie is, Freddie has got a ballot place for London Marathon. He's done absolutely no running ever. And uh, he kind of joined us on the Couch to Marathon plan at the 40 Runs Running Club, uh, my local one in Hertfordshire. And this is how he's gonna get on. He's gonna uh, keep us up to date, how he gets on with his training all the way up to London. So over to you, Freddie. Hi everyone, week four of my marathon training and um, thought I'd let everyone know uh, how I'm getting along. So this week I've run uh, twice and I'm going to run tomorrow. Um, so I ran Monday, did a 5k in just under half an hour with a dog and then Wednesday went full D. Um, we worked on sprints. Today I've been to personal training where I worked on my shoulders and my abs and then tomorrow saturday and i'm gonna try and go for fun in the morning because uh, it's my birthday so get out of the way in the morning and then thursday i also went to um my charity meeting with sparks and great ormond street and met people in my team and met other people doing the marathon never done it before which is um good to meet other people who aren't never done it before i'm in the facebook group chat they're all talking about their training, giving other people tips and tricks, which is really helpful. And there was a presentation by someone who's done the marathon about seven times, I think he said. So really useful, uh, really useful evening. But this week I'm feeling good. It's the most I've trained since I started. Um, I'm going to try and run three times a week and then go to the gym once a week. The personal training, work on my core and my shoulders. So... Yeah, see you next week. Whew. Right, that's better. Showered, shaved, all sorted out. Right, marathon training plan, my marathon training plan to be precise. Um, this is actually it, uh, <laughs> which is uh, not the neatest thing in the world. What I've actually done for you guys is I've done a decent copy and you can get this, I thought it'd be cool, um, I'll put this up on my website. If you go onto 40runs.com under training plans, this is on there. There's also a marathon training plan for, I've called it beginners. Uh, it's the one I used a few years ago um, and it may help you. It's a good base or a good place to start if you're still struggling with a training plan. It's there for you to change, for you to use, for to you to do whatever you want with. It's basically a three run week, um, but I would really suggest you change it around a little bit, fit it into your life, add in some cross training and that sort of stuff, but have a look. They're all free, they're up on the 40 Rounds website. Um, but yeah, so that is actually the plan. Now I'm running a 17 week plan. Um, for you guys who are new to the channel, basically the last few weeks I've been cementing this five run week. Um, I've been playing around with pace and I've been playing around with speed. Um, and that's what I've been doing to try and cement before we hit the plan, which actually officially starts, believe it or not, next week, even though I've already started. Um, I'll use this one if that's okay. Um, because I'm, it's got all my stuff written on it, but I will sort of cross correspond to this. In this plan, you will see that I've got cross training. For me, cross training this year is gonna be uh, cycling and swimming. I'm not gonna have a chance to get to a gym. I would recommend that you do go to a gym if you can, uh, but for me, cycling and swimming are gonna be key. Main reason for that is I'm gonna be doing a triathlon straight after I've done London. So I wanna put cycling and swimming in, and I'll be doing about six, 45, 60 minutes of, of cycling and swimming when I'm cross training, just to give you a clue. So that's the sort of stuff I'll be doing. Um, but like I said, it's a five run week for me. There's a couple of different runs in there. Um, I've got a recovery run, uh, a tempo run, intervals um, and hill sprints. I've got easy run, um, which is basically, let's call it a conversational pace. 
I've got marathon pace, uh, which I think is around 5.38. I've got to check that. Um, 5.38 is about my marathon pace. I've got to double check that, it's just a really good point. Um, but yeah, so I'll do elements of marathon pace. I've got my long run, which I'll be running a lot slower uh, than marathon pace. So let's say that is 5.38. So I'll be doing my uh, long runs at around six minute per kilometers no faster than that that's basically what i'll be working on um and the reason that is i want to cover more miles i want to do it at easy pace i want to build stamina i want to build strength nice and gently and i don't want to uh, put too much pressure onto my body as i get later into the plan i will run elements of that long run at my marathon pace but i won't do too much it'll literally be a couple of k towards the end of it on tight legs just to give my legs and my brain a little bit of a switch on uh to know what it's going to feel like so they're the sort of runs uh, I'm going to be doing. Um, and I say that's all on there. So just to run you through a typical week, the first few weeks, uh, actually, let's say up to six, I'm going to be getting up to, uh, it's about 17, 18 miles. Uh, don't forget, I'm already at over half marathon distance, but uh, I've got a uh, 10K uh, on the first one. That's the winter 10K. I'm going to be doing that. Uh, and I'll literally just be taking that uh, easy. And then I go straight back up to 22K, which is a half marathon distance. And then I start hitting already early in my plan, um, 25, 27, 30 kilometers. Uh, I'm building gonna be straight up into solid distance by about halfway through the plan. Um, so my body sort of wakes up and realizes that we're marathon training again. Um, within that, I'm gonna be doing recovery runs on a Monday. Uh, my speed work is going to be on a Tuesday, so a mixture of tempo runs and intervals. That's going to be over seven kilometers. The reason seven kilometers is because there's a nice track uh, route for me to do, which is really flat, which I can really concentrate on the speed. So I can do a tempo run and hold my pace for that 7K. Or I can do intervals where I can run, you know, the first kilometer easy, do, you know, a minute sprint, uh, and then a minute recovery, minute sprint, minute recovery, then with a one kilometer recovery after that. That'll be on a Tuesday. Wednesday, I actually do my couch to marathon class um, with the 40 runs uh, running club here in Hertfordshire. Um, and that's a five kilometer run. Uh, and we do different things. We do heels, speed, loads of different pace and stuff like that. But it's usually a 5K run. So that's an easy run for me. Cross training on a Thursday, uh, like I spoke about. Friday is a uh, marathon pace, which I spoke about, and then I do my long run traditionally on a Saturday. If I've got an event on a Sunday, which I would recommend you putting in an event, uh, I will then cross train on a Saturday. Now that can be, a, say, cycling or swimming. Usually it's a swim because I like to get down the pool nice and early, and then I'll do the distance on a Sunday. I won't try and double up or make up distance uh, that I'm that I'm missing, so to speak, on a long run, because that's why another reason why I go up quite quickly at the start, because I know I've got a few events. I've got Queen Elizabeth Half Marathon, Big Half London Landmarks, that sort of stuff chucked in it, and I'm sure a few others will pop up as well. Um, just going towards the end of it, oh, uh, I've got a down week on week nine, um, which is quite nice, so I just scale it back uh, on the longer runs. I'll do a park run and a 10K. And then as we go up, I will hit 20 miles at week uh, 13. So still four weeks out, but I'll hit that. I'll then come down to an 18 miler. Um, and then I will then start tapering off. So I go down to 27. I may change that to 25 kilometers. And then I like um, this from last time at Chelmsford. I did a half marathon the week before uh, the marathon. I kind of like that just to practice with pace and stuff like that. Um, not the whole race at that um, marathon pace elements of it, it kind of got me switched on to uh, an event coming up. So yeah, so that's the plan. That's what I'm gonna do. That's all up there for everybody to have a look at. With regards to training between the two marathons, this is what I've got, uh, but we'll come on to that later on in the series, uh, and I'll discuss about exactly how I'm gonna go from one to the other, and it'll be interesting to follow that. So there you go, guys. There's my marathon training plan that I've got. The important thing is, with these marathon training plans is to make them adjustable, to make them fluid so you can change. I'm gonna get sick, something's gonna crop up, I'm gonna miss runs for whatever reason. But the key to it is, is not to panic, not to get stressed, go with the flow, try not to chase mileage or anything like that. You will make it up, as long as you've got that base there and you're working on it, it'll be absolutely fine. So yeah, I, I'm super excited. Um, 
for me, like I said last week, this is more about up what's going on up here than anything else. But there you go guys, there's my marathon training plan. I hope that's useful for you. If you've got any questions, stick them in the comments below. This is my own plan, this is what I've devised, this is built on stuff that I've done over the years when I've done previous marathons. Um, this may not suit everybody, okay? So just a, a pre-warning for that. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Check out 40 runscom all this is on there. Have a look at that. But that's it for this week. Uh, next week, I don't know what we're gonna, where am I next week? I can't even, oh yeah, we've got the Olympic Park 10K. So next week I'll talk about something else. Uh, and thanks again to everybody who's commenting and asking me to, to cover stuff. I will get onto it. Stick more comments below um, and let me know what you want me to cover as well. But I'll catch you guys next week.